Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to play PS3 games on your Android devices in 2025 with full setup best settings and gameplay For today's video we'll be using an PS3 emulator that is already available on Play Store So all you have to do to start setting up this PS3 emulator is simply open Play Store after a search for the APS3 emulator Android Now APS3 emulator is an completely open source PlayStation 3 emulator which is capable of emulating games like God of War 3 GTA 5 Dragon Ball Yakuza Batman and lot more PS3 titles including NFS series and the version 1.30 of this emulator was released just a week ago. So we'll be taking a look at the latest APS3 emulator 1.30 update as well. So once you add this emulator on your Android device from Play Store, simply launch it. Afterwards, you'll get a setup page. Now the RPCSX emulator, the rival of APS3 emulator is actually no longer in active development. So we'll be using this emulator instead. We'll need to import the PS3 firmware that is available on official Sony's PlayStation page so add that to your android device afterwards add it or select it inside the aps3 emulator then tap on the next button tap on next once again now here if you actually have iso ps3 games then you'll need to select the directory where you have stored those games and it will be automatically detected inside the aps3 emulator for today's video i won't be using any iso games so we'll skip that afterwards you'll need to select font so you can simply select from firmware afterwards tap on the next button disable the use custom driver option if you have an unsupported snapdragon processor like the device which I am using Realme GT7 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. If you guys have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or below, you can use custom graphics driver, the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver. You can do your own research and import it inside this emulator. Now that the emulator has been successfully set up, we'll tap on these three lines. Afterwards, go to the About section as we want to take a look at the update changelog. Well, 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 here there is no update changelog for the 1.30 version of the APS3 emulator, so unfortunately, we can't really see the changelog, but don't worry. We'll be testing out games. If you guys have PKG games on your Android device, then simply tap here and make sure to select the, the third option import PKG or RAP packages. So here I have chose Mortal Kombat. Let's see if that has been added. We'll tap on refresh list and I'll be importing GTA 5 as well. Okay, guys, so I have imported GTA 5. Let's tap on it and immediately when you launch it for the first time, you will see an UI similar to this. Now bear in mind that we have not applied any best settings, but I just want to quickly explain how everything works. When you import your PS3 games and launch it, you will see an screen known as compiling PPU models. Now this is very important process which usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes but if you have a flagship high end android device this process can be completed earlier. But do note that if you have a mid range device this process takes lot of time. I'll just go ahead and swipe to go back and quit this game because we want to apply the best settings inside the APS3 emulator. So go to the settings bar afterwards go to core settings. PPU threads make sure to set it to 8. Go to video resolution scaling. You will need to decrease your resolution to 720 by 480p. Aspect ratio 16 is to 9. MSA make sure to disable this option. Shader precision should be low. Once that has been done enable stretch to display area and that's about it in terms of best settings. Now you can also enable the performance overlay in video settings which I'll do that i'll also enable frame rate graph and yeah guys those are going to be the best settings in terms of everything once you have applied these settings by the way i forgot to mention another thing if you want more performance you can set the audio renderer to null now let's just go ahead and tap on Grand Theft Auto file, launch it and see how well does it work inside our PS3 emulator for Android. This is the original PS3 version of GTA 5 which I am excited to test out because this used to be a huge dream back in the day to emulate PS3 version of GTA 5 on our Android device. Once the compiling PPU models is completed, you will see a prompt known as building SPU cache. So wait until this process has been completed as well. And after this process is completed, as you guys can see, our Grand Theft Auto 5 is about to start on our Android device. You guys can see the official GTA 5 intro screen and it looks pretty good because this game is actually running at high resolution. Now you'll notice that the color logo, there is some color issues in the logo that's because of the unsupported graphics driver which we are using in today's video. You will face some graphical issues on Snapdragon processor. And here we go guys, the loading is complete. Let's just go ahead and choose the display color collection. The intro screen of GTA 5 actually the loading is still going on. But I have changed some settings which will fix graphical issues. I'll show you what those settings are towards the end of this video. So make sure to watch the video till the end. And here we go guys, our game has successfully started London Dorf North Yankton 9 years ago. And if you have a low-end Android device, you will indeed face some heating issues on your phone. But here we go, you guys can see our GTA 5 is about to start. Now you will see some green screen issues and compiling shaders towards the bottom. Don't worry, these graphical issues will be fixed after the shaders are compiled. So as you can see, once the game actually starts, 
the graphical issues are fixed but unfortunately as this is not a stable ps3 emulator your games will indeed crash now to fix the graphical issues here are the settings that i use so you guys can copy the ppu threads i set it to 2 afterwards i went to video settings and you guys can see i disabled and enabled this option in vulkan i also disabled force fi for present mode I have imported another PS3 game which is the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm demo so let's test this game out and see how well does it work. And here the game begins Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Let's press the start button to continue and quickly load up a match Naruto vs Kakashi. And there we go our game is about to begin at the top left corner you guys can see the performance which we are getting is absolutely amazing and stable performance almost 30 fps PS3 emulation on our android device on supported game and on unsupported games like GTA 5 there will be crashing issues but it can even run games like God of War 3. I have already made a tutorial video talking about how to play God of War 3 on your android device inside the APS3 emulator. So if you want to watch that you can check it out on the iCard above. Well that's going to be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.